at different times in our lives. Many of us find ourselves searching, looking for help, escaping. Your prison doors are open, just walk out. Pastor Vicki Walbert, raised in a home with alcoholic parents, as an adult, she faced her own demons. When you're an ex-junkie, drunk, a, a prostitute, and that's what I was. You have my book, you'll see. I'm not ashamed of it, it's my testimony. When he pulled me out of that, who am I to judge somebody? I mean, honestly, if he could take someone like that and use it for his kingdom, I'm honored to sit here and talk to you. More than 30 years ago, Vicki started building this church. The congregation eventually grew to more than 300. Then she started talking about doing more than just having a pretty building. People matter. So she put six trailers beside the church. I believe churches are to work with the people and are for the people to help them in any way we can. Then moved homeless people in, people with disabilities who couldn't find work, people who were addicted to drugs. Over the years, about 150 have lived here. I'll go over here and meet Sherry, she's a hoot. It's the warm rooms and the plants here that feed Sherry Struthers soul. She moved in five years ago. She doesn't pay rent or for anything else. And she can stay as long as she's in pain. And as long as I need. So as soon as I get healed and I get me a proper home built, they, uh, I'll move on my way. It's good crap. Her pain is in her shoulder after a fall and in her lungs after living in a house with black mold. It's also in her heart after her middle child was found dead, frozen to death after being at a party with friends. I've known many parents that's taken their own life after a loss. And the one thing I could stress is the level of forgiveness that only God can give you. That is my goal, and that is what I've, the day I stepped into this church, I said all I want is my joy back and to smile and laugh again, and uh, I've accomplished that. Here in a building meant for God, it's hard to discern who's saving whom. I'm just a blessed woman. I'm blessed of God.